Hello, 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 everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making hot dog fried rice. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button, like it, share it, and watch me cook. So this recipe is easy for anyone that's always busy and if you have kids especially and they love hot dogs, perfect. Cut this up, you got yourself some fried rice and a happy kid. All right, let's start off with half a cup of a diced onion. You can use yellow, you can use white, whatever your preference is. It's not gonna make a huge impact on this, but again, a half a cup is all we need. Now that we have that taken care of, grab your four favorite hot dogs, whatever hot dog brand, it doesn't matter. And all we're gonna do is cut this in half, cut it in half again, so then we have fours, and we're just gonna dice these right up. And if you don't know what I'm trying to say, let me show you guys right here. And I will show you a better view in just a minute. <laughs> but all we're doing again, and this does not have to be perfect, just dice it up however you like it into bite-sized pieces if you guys don't even want to do it in fours you can do it right in half and cut it right up it doesn't matter if you want them into like moon shapes but again just slice it right in half and then we're gonna slice it in half again just like this and then no rhyme or reason here just dice it to whatever bite-sized pieces it is that you like this is just how I prefer to do it so it works for me and my family and if you're wondering why four hot dogs, it's basically a hot dog per person, just to make sure you have enough in there. Can you use sausage? Sure, but then it wouldn't be a hot dog fried rice now, would it? Now I have here one cup of frozen peas and carrots. These are my veggies of choice. If you guys like the other kinds with the green beans and whatever else, use that. It doesn't matter, but I prefer this because I like the texture of it much better in this fried rice. Now I had a little bit of butter left on my other packet and so I used that and this. So this actually is one tablespoon's worth of butter that I'm just melting right here inside the pot. This is like one of those large wok type of pots. So you use a large skillet or one of these woks and you'll be fine. But get your butter started and then let's throw in all of our veggies, the onions, the frozen veggies, and the hot dogs that we just sliced up. And we're gonna cook this for a few minutes. I am editing out all the veggies being cooked here so you're not sitting there watching just a screen full of food just sitting and cooking and bubbling like this. But you do want to give it a few minutes and then you'll notice that your onion will start turning translucent. But we'll continue stirring for now and you'll see what happens next. While your veggies are cooking for a minute, go ahead and grab a bowl and crack three eggs right into it. We are going to slightly beat those eggs. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to kind of mix it up just before you throw it into the pan because you don't want to have to try to break it all up inside of the pan itself. But we're going to go back to our pan and we're going to make a little pocket right in the center and we're going to throw our eggs right into the center of this. Again, editing out the whole waiting part of everything. We are going to let it sit here and cook for about a minute or so, 30 seconds to a minute probably, before you start stirring everything around. You'll notice that I am doing a little bit of the scrambling part of the egg and then we're just going to start tossing everything and coating it nicely with everything that we have inside of the pot. We're gonna continue stirring and cooking the eggs until they're almost done. They're still a little bit runny, but they're almost done. Again, we are gonna make a nice little pocket here and we're gonna add our four cups of cooked rice. And just so you know, I went ahead and took out my cooked rice first before I started the whole entire thing just to have it sit out and cool down a little bit why I think it's because for me it seems like it's not as sticky because the air kind of dries it out and then it helps break it up a little bit better inside of the pan now we're gonna go grab our sesame oil and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sesame oil right on top of the rice and you want to add it on the rice because that's gonna help break up the rice as well Next, grab your soy sauce, use substitutions as needed, and if you are using the gluten-free kind, you may need to add another tablespoon of it because it's just not as salty as regular soy sauce. 
make sure you taste it before you serve it just so you know you have the right flavor that you want for this. But we're going to add our soy sauce right into the pan on top of the rice. Everywhere it doesn't matter for this one because you want that nice flavor inside all of the mix. And then we're just going to mix it all up and that's it. Well not that's it but that's it for this part so far. And you're going to want to mix this well. And to know that you're mixing it well you don't want to have any white pieces of rice. So the way you do that, for me, I smash it down and break it up just to make sure I got all the flavor inside of every speck of rice. And continue doing this until it's all done. And all the liquid starts to evaporate a little bit because it is fried rice. Once you've been stirring for a few minutes and you've got every, every little piece of it taken care of, go ahead and grab your black pepper. Add black pepper to taste. If you don't like it, you don't have to add it, but I think it gives a little bit more flavor, especially when you're using gluten-free soy sauce. But continue mixing this, and to garnish it, you can use green onions, you can use sesame seeds, you can use both, it doesn't matter. You can skip it all if you don't even want any of it. But all you have to do is just serve it. This is always a hit with my kids, and if you guys like this recipe, please hit subscribe, thumbs up, like it, share it, and until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.